Here's what's at stake when an estimated 2.5 million Wisconsin votes are cast today. First, Wisconsin's 46th governor will be elected. Will it be Republican Governor Scott Walker getting a second four-year term, or will Democrat Mary Burke be the next governor? Just a footnote, in the last 40 years, Republicans have won seven of 11 elections for governor. Voters will also be picking the next attorney general. Will it be Waukesha County DA Brad Schimmel, the Republican candidate, or Jefferson County DA Susan Happ, the Democratic candidate? And voters will also decide whether to reelect seven of Wisconsin's eight U.S. House members, a delegation Republicans control by a margin of five to three. The only U.S. House seat without an incumbent is in the sixth House district. In that district, State Senator Glenn Grothman is the Republican candidate. He's running against Democrat Mark Harris, the Winnebago County executive. And will Republicans keep control of the state Senate? Although 17 senators will be elected today, Democrats must win elections in southwest Wisconsin, in the Fox Valley, and in and around Sheboygan to control the state Senate. And will Assembly, Re will Assembly Republicans keep their 60-vote margin in that House? Assembly De Democrats say they will be lucky to pick up two or three seats today since they are running in districts drawn by Republicans only two years ago. Finally, you do not need a photo ID to vote today, but if you're registering to vote for the first time, you must present proof of where you live. If 2.5 million vo voters go to the polls, it would be a record for a gubernatorial midterm election, the highest number in 50 years. You can vote until 8 p.m. tonight, and if you're in line at 8 p.m., you must be allowed to vote. And tune in to Wisconsin Tonight at noon tomorrow when myself, Swiss Politics Editor J.R. Ross, former Governor Tommy Thompson, former Assembly Speaker Tom Loftus will talk about all of the election's results. That's Morning Minute.